All right. Don't judge me too fast. It's harder than it looks. Um, what I was trying to show is how to get the hemp fiber to this consistency. I think that's in the shot. It's super broke up, but still attached to the to the bass, and the bass is not broke. In the bass fiber, that that metally wiry fiber here, some of the bigger, the the bass fiber that's bigger, like you can see, is super strong. Actually, that's incredibly strong. Um, and the more you can leave it attached to the shiv, and that's the hardwood section of this, it's just deceiving because the hardwood on this is super light in comparison to everything else on the planet that's hard. Um, normally hard means dense, or I mean in weight. This is not so. But the, the, the shiv is extremely strong. That other chunk had actually been broke. But the shiv is, um, is the hardwood section, and a hardwood dowel would have broke easier than that is what I'm trying to get at. The, to show you this, Potato fork, strongly recommend a piece of metal with just rebar tack welded to it. But it's to crush those bigger sections that you can't in no way, shape, or form crush with your fingers. And um, in this will, the stick will win is because that's how come it's been screwed in so many times and broken. And, um, but for the most part, it crushes it up. To get it from this stage here to a that finer stage, just put it in something metal where it can't escape or, you know, in a pit on the ground. Use a section of pipe and it'll just keep breaking that down. You don't got to, you know, just use this to crush the biggest of the, of the sticks. And, but like I said, if the pins were all aligned, welded in it would be a lot simpler but it gives you an idea simply grinding it chopping it cuts all the fibers and that's what you're trying to avoid you're trying to keep the fibers as long as you can the the shiv is broke up as you can does it make any difference on how it petrifies how small no nope, it will do it in time um, you, what you're looking for is a, like I said a product that's going to look roughly like this and this is Colorado, southern Colorado, high up in the Rocky Mountains in the desert. So even when it was growing, it was probably 11% in this section. Now it's nil. There, there's no moisture left. For me, I would take this, I would boil it, take it out of the hot water, drain the hot water if the tank you know allows for it. Then put the, the amount of the concrete, Portland, hydrated lime, lime, the dust that you're going to use... Um, even if I was using a PLA, an outdoor adhesive, I would boil it first. Is just to get the moisture content back into it. It drains rather well. It doesn't absorb water. Um, all you're doing is giving it something to make the molecular swap um, between the lime and the, you know, you're asking the, the thing to give up a, a water molecule, and it's asking the, the concrete to give up a calcium molecule, and then it petrifies. So what you're looking for the smallest piece, Longest fiber, um, bring it up, back up to hydrated, um, you know, amounts, 35% would be good. Um, and then mix the concrete to it and then gingerly add the water. You don't make it sloppy wet. There's no need for it. It's not going to help it in any way. Actually, it's going to hurt it. Um, if you dilute it down and, um, and, and you know, affect the, the lime in, its, in what it's trying to do to the material. So... Hope it helps. If I can help in any way, contact me. Um, I'm sure there's links somewhere on this thing. Where they're at, I don't know. I don't, I'm not a big YouTube person. But I do try, I'm a researcher, and I just try um, easier ways to get stuff done. And, and I just knew that chopping it with a grinder wasn't getting this. And that's what you have to have um, to make shivcrete absolutely as strong as you can. Not like this. First like that, eventually like this. Um, then you got something, and it's stronger than you could ever believe. Fireproof, vandal proof. They just went through fire tests that in, in dur heat duration, radiant heat duration test, that you could have simply doused it with gasoline or diesel. 
done less damage and it would have just burned the fuel out. Um, so definitely tomorrow's house. Um, don't know what else to say. You could house the homeless worldwide and make the planet greener just by, um, what do they call that? Taking the carbon out of the air, sequestering carbon. It can sequester 20 years worth of car what it would take a normal forest, 20 years to sequester. This crop can sequester and, and provide just as much hardwood um, and fiber to, to build with um, is, a, is a section of 20-year-old forest. It's kind of spooky, and about 20 acres at that. It's not like this. This is five acres to a house. It takes about 20 acres for a house for the forest. So something to consider um, for what it can regrow, not old world. You know, I mean, some of them you could probably build a house out of one log. So before I get nasty comments, I want to, you know, get it right for y'all. And um, But like I said, one more time, easy peasy. And that's all you're looking for. Down and wrenched. In, down and wrenched. You keep doing it. Um, like I said, flat piece of metal. Jig some rebar on top. Nothing fancier than a potato fork. And away you go. Big day.